All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys a classic play in Madden 25, but before we get into it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, become members, full scheme breakdowns are in the members area. I have my own schemes in there right now, okay? We have the Wild Trips Pats, we have the Dying 3-2. However, I'm gonna drop a pro player scheme, all right? A popular one. I'm gonna drop it for you guys and I'm gonna keep dropping those probably the rest of the year. So you pay the small fee instead of having to pay hundreds of dollars, bro? Are you kidding me? No, we're not going to do that. Now, I'm going to show you guys that are newer to Madden to play. It's trips tight end offset, but it's in Trey Y flex as well. It runs the same way, things like that. Okay, the name of the play from the Jets offensive playbook is the PA Crossers. PA Crossers is a really good beginner play. However, even for the seasoned players, it's a one play tutty against cover two defense. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll do that first. PA Crossers. We'll go ahead and go to where we at? Tampa 2. It's a really good Tampa 2 beater. So let's just go ahead and do nickel 2-4. And the setup, it requires a little setup to beat cover two. And you got to hope and pray that you have the time. The pass rush is insane in Madden 25. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tight end, put him on a streak. Wire triangle selecting A, which is our tight end, left stick up. This is just going to allow us to motion him out because once he motions out, we're going to put him on a comeback route. So wire triangle selecting A and then the left trigger for comeback route. Next thing we're going to do is going to cancel the play action. Wire triangle selecting RB or R1, which is your running back and then right trigger for pass block. That cancels the play action, we don't want it. Next thing we do, take B, put them on an in route. Wire triangle selecting B, left stick to the right for in. Okay, and then we're gonna streak Y. Wire triangle selecting Y or triangle, depending on if you're on PlayStation, and then left stick up for streak. That's pretty much it. If we have the time, X will come over the middle of the field wide open, the deep half on my right side should stay low with the comeback route. We used to run these religiously in like the newer, I mean, the older Maddens when you could roll out crazy. This one, I don't know, okay? We, we're gonna have to see if we can get away with it. We'll snap the ball, let's see what we can get away with. We'll read the pocket, read the pocket, read the pocket. And I stepped up too late, but you're gonna see X, right? X coming over the middle of the field by himself as I'll show you an instant replay, and then we'll try to get it done. Uh, but you can complete this. It just, uh, maybe you roll out, but this guy's gonna be open. I mean, it's literally touchdowns. But by the time, you really want to throw it when he's about right here. The pocket uh, was collapsing on me. So let's try it again. We could try different pass protections. Like I said, this is probably a harder one to throw, but I wanted to show this to you guys first. Let's double team here, and then let's slide protect here, okay? Double team, slide protect. There it is right there. I mean, they collapsed this guy quickly, bro. That was pretty fast. All right, again, we're gonna go ahead and just motion them out, come back route, cancel play action. In route, streak like this, pretty much how I want it to roll. Pretty much gonna be your setup all the time. Let's roll out. Right there. Get him, baby. Get him, baby. Just like that. We don't get that animation, we get a regular rat catching animation, we're goaded. All right, so that's that play. Now, if you wanna set it up the other way, which is going to be the main way, you're gonna streak the tight end and motion him out, but leave him on a streak. He's gonna be our clear off. You can keep play action if you want, keep the crossing route, but take Y and put them on an in route. This is going to be our base setup, okay? Um, if the user takes off on the crosser, we have Y underneath, gets open under all the yellows, especially like in cover two, but let's go ahead and snap the ball right here, and then you'll have B right there, okay? Not a lot of people will cover it, but the user guys, they will be there, which means the underneath route, the underneath stuff opens up for you, okay? We can cancel play action if we want to, but let's see if we can get Y open right here. Here, underneath, right there, boom. Now we have this guy. And it's going to be that play. It's gonna be that play for you guys, man. Now, there is one thing we used to do, and I'll show you guys really quick, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and run a hard flat. Now, this is gonna work against every zone in the game, probably even man defense. You just gotta beat the man defense, but for it's gonna be a universal setup. But let's go ahead and say, cover three hard flats, right? Where are we at here? We gotta have a hard, right there. Cover three hard flats. Um, where you'll get cooked is if we run this, right? We cancel play action, we take Y. If the user jumps the B route, right? And then he plays hard flats, well, you're gonna have to hit Y earlier, right? If you don't have this guy. And you'll notice that over here on the Y route, he was gonna be covered, you know what I'm saying? So, um, let me show you an instant replay. Right here, that if the user went to the, uh, the crosser, this guy was covered. However, even in a hard flat, if they don't set their yellows back, this in route will always be open, okay? The only way to stop these in routes now, they're gonna be deadly, they are deadly in Madden 25, is for them to zone drop their yellows, okay? 
even in a hard flat, these guys are open. So remember that, okay? Your in routes are going to be brutal. Now, if you really want to get an in route open, you can streak the tight end from where he's at and then in route like this, okay? Cancel play action. This will ensure that they do drop back further and now you have this guy. All right, now, there is an alternative we used to run in the, say, uh, uh, older Maddens, and that was taking wide, putting him on a drag, right? Motioning him across, snapping the ball, because uh, I motioned it out to, I mean, we don't, we don't have to do that. If we want to bait them, we'll have to leave the tight end. We're going to motion Y across, and then what's going to happen is, is we're going to go ahead and playmaker him up the field, if we have the time, obviously. I don't think we're going to have the time. Snap right here. Here, here, or I mean, you have the middle of the field open. You don't really have to wait. Bro, the way the middle of the field is open in Madden 25 this year is insane. You guys need to start adapting to this because it's going to be the bread and butter, okay? The bread and butter is the underneath stuff right here. I'm telling you, stretch the defenses out, force them to make their yellows, turn them into like five, 10 yards, you know what I mean? Think about it for a minute. Now that's cover three. Let's, let's look at like cover four quarters. How does cover four quarters play a play like this? Match defense, you know? Let's go uh, cover four quarters from nickel two four. Let's run our same setup. Cancel play action, in route. You'll notice that the Y route's gonna be open, okay? And your crosser's gonna get picked up. So be careful with cover four quarters. Now, the way I would try to get this one open is we could probably utilize what we used to do back in the day. And that might be might very well be like a drag slant across the field. Let's go slant here, okay? Oh, we can't do that either. Let's do, let's just do slant right here. Try to force a zone play. Boom. I mean, that's three man, right? But maybe not motioning out the tight end this time. It's just the thing is, is you're not gonna be able to look for that crosser because of those quarters. The way they play, it's gonna be ferocious. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so dragging X, slant Y, Motion him across with the slant against this cover four quarters and see what we get away with. We snap the ball here and let's just see who's open in this cover four quarters. It's gonna be X again. Okay, yeah, it's gonna work the same exact way as it always worked before, okay? Let me show you guys what I mean. Instant replay and then we'll try to execute it one time. But if we run this slant across the field, right? And the motion against cover four quarters, you'll notice that the whole damn defense shifts to him and then the drag comes wide open. I'm talking about you get mad yards, son mad yards right here look literally this is how we used to open up against cover four quarters and match defense is to run the slant across from a drag so it'll be slant and i want to say it works even better if i just do this right here so we go a b streak on both sides cancel the play action drag x slant y right and then come across here like this okay snap the ball here paying attention to the backfield well we have y so if you run streaks, it's Y that gets open. It's just everybody's too slow. Everything gets hung up. Y gets open on that. But if we leave it like this, then it's uh, the drag that gets open. So try to remember what I'm telling you guys with this play. It's gonna be dragging, and if you want slant, you use double streaks. But Y, will, I mean X right here would be the guy right there. So just a battle cover four quarters. Alternatively, man, you probably don't even need to do all that. What you can do is flip the play and then put my guy right here on a flat. So right stick up, okay? Streak A. Probably even doing that, man, honestly. And then just running out to the flats. So you can table route a, a, a match defense, even in cover three, cover four, cover three, anything with match defense, you can just run the flat. Now, I don't recommend running the flat to the right side because it's just not a lot of space there. You know what I'm saying? If you flip it and go to the other side, then you have more of a chance. So don't forget, you can also run Texas here. So you'll run Texas streak, streak like this, and then just come underneath. Once he cuts, underneath, right? They're not gonna be able to pick that off. You, you'll always be able to throw that on the cut. I probably threw that a little too late. You probably wanna throw that a little bit earlier, but you can run the Texas as well. So it's good that we have those options, you know what I mean? Alternatively, you could just take him and put him on a flat here, just motion your running back across by itself. Know what I'm saying? So it's the same way, and then just hit him right here. And it's just mad yards against match defense. So a lot of tricks, a lot of tips that you can use using your flat routes. They're just gonna be amazing to go against that defense. So this is PA Crossers, how to use it at a, at a higher level. But remember that cover four quarters, known to slow you down a little bit. And that's why you wanna mix it in, blend it all in. You know what I mean? I tend to run blitzes most of the time. So 
but it is what it is drop a like check out the schemes in the members area and stay tuned because i'm about to drop one for you guys it's a pro scheme love you guys man peace